so on behalf of the club and all Bears fans, huge congratulations on reaching 50 tests for England. Must be hugely proud. Yeah, obviously, really, really pleased with the the milestones. Um, you know, you don't necessarily play for milestones; you play for wins, and you know, to be a part of winning teams. But um, obviously, you know, you you know, it's a huge, huge honour to play 50 times for England at the same time. So, yeah, really pleasing, and um, yeah, hopefully, a few more to come. And you've uh, you've made it into our England Great Bears display, one of only eight. Bearing in mind, you think about the huge history that Warwickshire has. That's a real elite group isn't it yeah it is it's nice i suppose um you know to, to be one of eight as you say to have played more than 50 is you know a huge honor really and you're know, very fortunate to have played with a fair few of the the names on the on the board um obviously a few that was before my time but they're the sort of names that when you think of warwickshire these are the names that you actually actually think of and um you know some obviously true greats of the game and true greats of the club so yeah real real privilege to be on the same sort of list as them and you recognize the the celebration? Yeah, I, I remember that one last summer, uh, Ashley Series. I think that was the Steve Smith wicket at the Oval. Um, one of my favourite days playing cricket for England, I suppose, winning a Test match uh, on the last day against, you know, against Australia is is up there with the, one of the greatest feelings, and obviously a big wicket as well. So I'm glad you've chose a, a good picture. And are there any of the 50 that do particularly stand out to you, Chris? Um, I think naturally, obviously, remember. The first, um, making your debut, get, receiving your test cap uh, with the three lines on is a you know a huge honour uh, and a you know a real privilege to be able to give it, given that cap and I suppose that's something which lives in the memory for a long time. But you know some some good games, some bad games as well that you, that you obviously remember. But um, yeah, the, the first one at the Oval 2013, receiving receiving my test cap off Serena and Botham was a you know huge moment in my career and you know thankfully gone on to to play a fair few more. Selfishly, we'd have liked you to play your 50th here at Edgbaston, but we've kind of got the next best thing. I'm sure you'll be given a great reception. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I've, I mean, I've only had the opportunity to play a couple of test matches at Edgbaston, uh, and it's a great feeling walking out on your home home patch, you know, with friends and family there. Um, you know, it's really a nice feeling. Uh, always a warm welcome from the, the home support as well. Playing in front of Bears fans is is you know is is a great achievement and also you know I really enjoy doing that so um, yeah looking forward to this week it will be a great you know experience obviously crowd will be behind us as always the lads love playing here uh, and hopefully we can get a win on the board as well. So 50 down Chris how many how many left in the tank? Oh, I don't like to put, put a number on it I, I, I generally and genuinely mean this I play every test match or every game for England in particular as if it's going to be your last you never know when it's it's going to come to an end, so you try and make the most of it. Um, and yeah, I definitely wouldn't want to put a number on it, but I certainly feel pretty good. The body's okay, you know, bowling okay at the minute, so as long as I'm picked, hopefully a few more.